Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff where today we are doing Chessington World Adventures. We're back baby, it's 2021, the sun is shining, theme parks are open and it's going to be amazing. It's mad that this is the first attraction that we're doing of the year to say that we're in April because by now in a normal year we probably would have done a few but you know what, we're going to make the most of the situation just like we did last year and it's going to be another good year isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it will be. Yeah. New to Chesington this year is the Croc Drop which you can see behind us. So. That's going to be our first ride of the day. Are you excited? I am very excited yeah, for this. Yeah, I mean, neither of us are massively, massively keen on drop towers, but I'm pretty sure we can handle this. It's only a family one. It looks good as well, look. It looks really yeah. impressive. The yeah. smoke, I don't know if you'll see um, as we're talking, but the smoke that they put on when the doors open looks really good. Oh, hang on, can you see there? It basically looks like, like there's a vape party going on in there. Mm. But yeah, it looks really, really good. Really good. I'm really impressed. I'm surprised with the green teeth. Oh, yeah. I didn't from, expect from it to have green teeth. No, me neither. Like but it's based on a Egyptian god. Well, What's the Egyptian god? Sobek. Sobek. And I think Sobek is the crocodile. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sobek. Yeah. But yeah, I like it. I think it looks really good. I can't yeah. wait to go on it. Looks amazing. Right, so here we are. We're just getting in the queue for the first ride of the day, which is, of course, the croc drop. I hope you can hear me because the music's really loud. Um, it's only 35 minutes, which is really, really good, isn't it? Yeah, especially for a new ride, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, I mean, we've been checking all week and it's been getting up to like three hours, hasn't it? Yeah. Three hours! Um, so we're not doing that. But there it is. I'm excited. Are you excited? You know what? To say I don't like drop towers, I am actually quite excited for this. It's only a family job, though, isn't it? It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. First ride of 2021 done, and that was actually really good, wasn't it? That was really good, yeah. yeah. Really good. Really like, good. yeah. Definitely I mean, not as extreme as uh, the, the proper, like full size. No, towers that you get, no, it was very tame, very tame. But you still get that feeling in your tummy, which I quite like. And a lot higher actually when you're on it. Yeah. Like, it really doesn't look that big from here, but when no. you're up there, I mean, you can see the whole of Chessington and down to London. Can't yeah, you? you can. You can see all the London landmarks. Mm. It's lovely, and you can see the rhinos and the uh, mm. giraffes and everything on the. African Reserve, yeah, yeah good. Which really, yeah, yeah, and all the effect, like the lighting, the, mm. the mist, and the um, the sound effects, there's the, like a chanting yeah. soundtrack, isn't there? Yeah. Which go up really, really good. And, and you get well quite well, a few too. drops, don't you? You do, three yeah. Three or you four get drops. Three or four, yeah. Something like that. So it's, it's definitely worth, I would say worth your money, but obviously you, you don't pay for each ride. But you know what I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? You get, you get your money's worth out of it, don't you? A good new addition to the park, isn't it? Mm, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Still so, sad about Ramsey's Revenge, but. Here we are, Croc Drop is a good addition, I love it. Right, so I think we're going to head over to uh, Vampire now. We're just walk walking through the Mexicana area, which looks like it's had a lick of paint. Uh, and there's some vibrant music going on. I don't remember it being this loud. 
Um, but yes, we're going over to Vampire now because there's some sort of pop badge opportunity that we want to get. Um, I think you play some sort of game. Anyway, we love pop badges, so we're going to go for it. Oh, is this new? I don't remember this. That looks new. That's new. I've definitely had a Pretty sure that's something. new. Yeah. Pretty sure that's new. So yes, Vampire Pop Badge. It is a very, very busy one today, so I think the queue's going to be quite big, but it is what it is. I'd say 25 minutes, but we are very, very, very far back, and I feel that we may have been lied to. came off Vampire, which was as rough as ever, but he didn't think it was. No, I thought that was one of the smoothest times I've ever been on it. Yeah. Normally it breaks me facing. And it, it proper banged my ears about. But uh, we did this VR code thing, scanned them and QR. We, QR, sorry, QR. <laughs> and um, we got a free pop badge, a 30 year vampire one. I don't know where the lens is, it's up there. Look. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was. If you're going to do it, I would definitely recommend taking a photo of each QR code because it was really stressful. Mm. <laughs> like it doesn't. It often doesn't register. Like when I was doing it, it was taking me back. You have to get a letter for each QR code, and it kept taking me back to the first letter. So I would take a picture of them all so that you can at least go in and prove it. Yeah. yeah really cool. Also new for this year, which is kind of new, kind of not new, is the Blue Barnacle, which used to be where Black Buccaneer is. So it's still a pirate ship, but they've re replaced the ship and gave it a new name. And they've got new, it looks like they've got new theming all around as well. I can see some fake parrots down here. Oh, um, oh. In fact, all around, like, the big pirate there actually that we missed. Um, so lots of new theming. And the water's blue. I don't think the water was blue before, was it? No, I don't think it don't was. Think so. No. But we'll try and get some shots as we go through the queue. It's a 45 minute wait, but <laughs> let's go. Barnacle, and that was actually quite good, wasn't it? It was, that was really, really good, good actually. to get back on that. Yeah. yeah, it goes actually quite high, doesn't it? Yeah. Really high. And I like, think you get more force on that actually than you do on Blade. It's yeah, ours. definitely. And it's one of yeah. my favourite pirate ships. This. Yeah, your bum comes out your yeah. seats as well when you get to the I top. I wasn't quite sure with it being a new one. I didn't quite know if it would be as ex as forceful. I thought maybe they might have tamed it down to be a bit yeah. more family friendly. But no, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, really good pirate yeah, ship. Yeah, really good pirate ship. And also, we've chosen a, a glorious day to come. The sun stopped shining all day, and I don't want to jinx that. 
<laughs> um, but as it is a nice day, I think it's a good day to go on Tiger Rock and get a little bit wet, don't yeah. you? Well, seen as last time we tried to show you off, so, ugh, show off Land of the Tigers and we absolutely failed miserably, I think we should go and try again, shouldn't we? Definitely, definitely. Should we go? Yeah. Yeah. It's Tiger Rock and it had broken down. Um, so hopefully it will be back later because it was broken down last time we came. So and there were just loads of people in front of the tigers as well. There was absolutely hordes of people in front of the tigers, so we yeah. couldn't even so we see them. We didn't bother with the tigers. Hopefully so. we'll come back to that later. But uh, <laughs> in, instead, it's ruined again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but instead, we're going to go and feed the lava. Well, we're going to see the lava keats instead. Try and keep them out of your hair this time. Yeah. Okay, so actually worth noting, you can't feed the lorikeets at the moment because of the Covid restrictions. I thought we could last year though. Yeah, I thought we could as well. Maybe the change that I, I don't yeah. know. But I do believe up here in this tree, I have some lorikeets. Can you see that they're quite small on the camera? Try and get some decent shots of them. Well, let me turn you around, hang on. Look at that beauty. Oh god, I love a Laura Key. I don't know about you, but I actually think this may be my favourite lorikeet enclosure we've been to. Well, certainly in the sun anyway. Yeah, I think it's the only outdoor one we've been to. Yeah. Try cross is oh, slightly yeah. outdoors. Slightly, slightly outdoors. outdoors. It's got a roof above it. Yeah. But, yeah. But definitely in the sun, this is amazing. Yeah, you've got is. all the foliage, you've got all the ropes above you. Oh, some lorikeets just flew past. And you've got this lovely pond as well with the ducks and the fish. Can you see the ducks and the fish? Um, and this little waterfall here, look. And they've got the pigeons as well. They have got pigeons. But they're um, not like the feral pigeons you see in the city, they're like no, quite they're nice. No, they're quite nice, nicer than urban pigeons. There's one, look. Here you go, look. Pigeon! And there's some behind me as well, look. Can you see these pigeons? Um, yeah, lovely, lovely. I really love this, uh, this lorikeet enclosure. I love it. So just checked the ride queue times and they're all mental. So we've decided to do the zoo part of Chesington. So we're going to start with Trailer the Kings. Yeah, we're not really sure what comes out because they've blocked the entrance yeah, off. Yeah, so they have, yeah. We don't know where it goes now, yeah. well, we'll see. Hopefully we'll have a more successful time as last time. We saw nothing yeah. in Trailer of Kings. Although to be fair, like these first couple of enclosures, you never see anything. <laughs> no, <laughs> you literally no. never see anything. But we'll see, you never know. First two enclosures are meant to be for the clouded leopard. See a sign for it there, clouded leopard. But every time we come, we've never ever seen a clouded leopard. And we come about twice a year, don't we? Yeah. Like, look, here, that's the enclosure. No, no clouded leopard. No, don't know where they are. Not sure. Maybe we'll see them one day, who knows. I don't believe they're actually, I don't think they exist. I think it's all a ruse to get us to come here. 
I've mm. never seen, never ever seen them. We've never even seen a spot of them, have we? No, no. Even no. at least when they had the ocelot, we actually saw it a glimpse a of glimpse its foot. Of it. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. once. The clouded leopard we've never ever seen. I think it's a lie. It was certainly more successful than the last time we went in there, although the gorillas are closed. We talked about the entrance being closed off, but actually you currently exit through the staff bit that comes out by the sea lines, um, which is absolutely mega busy. Um, so don't know why they've closed the gorillas off. I don't know if, I haven't seen them advertise that they've had a baby or anything recently, have you? No, I've not. Um, no. But that's the only reason I can think they would close it off. Um, well, yeah, we don't know. Oh, we love watching the otters, they are so cute. And today they was really active, probably the most active that we've probably seen them yeah. here. Yeah. They're really and, enormous animal though, aren't they? Yeah, you, they you, are. You, you see a lot of them more, you don't see anything of them. No, and it wasn't very busy around there, so we got to stand and observe them for, for quite some time, didn't we, today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're probably going to go to the penguins now, which I probably... We're literally out of the penguins Well, now. yeah, we're out of the penguins now. <laughs> we are here. And um, that's probably going to be quite busy. I imagine. I can already see people. Although they've got the windows now, yeah. so it's not quite as bad as it used to be. You can get a good view of them through the windows. There we go, that was a lovely little walk around the zoo we just had there. 
Uh, raccoons were really, really active, which we haven't seen before. They were last time we came, they were just sort of inside, not really doing anything. So it was really good to see. Um, I mean, I think now a tiger rock is still broken down, and some of the queues are absolutely outrageous. I mean, rattlesnake in front of us is 60 minutes, and I think um, dragon's fury is on 80 minutes. So that's just not happening, is it, at the minute? No. Um, might just go land of the tiger and just have a look at some of the tigers, I think. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. We've just seen people on Tiger Rocks who are on a mad dash now to get on it before the queue absolutely goes astronomical. the queues are still massive we've decided to take another walk through the zoo and can you see it <laughs> <laughs> we've actually seen the clouded leopard this time it's real yeah it's real it exists it's so beautiful as well and oh. it's having a proper little wander around as yeah. well it's making it out to be right liars because it's just it's just like fully on display just fully walking around all the time it's got no very issue. there it is again look oh very active very active got some good footage of it The park is open till 7 and it's just come up to 7 now so we're just queuing up for Dragon's Fury because no trip to Chesington is complete without a ride in Dragon's Fury. It is one of our favourite here and we've not been on it today. just come off uh, Dragon's Fury and it was actually 15 minutes not 90 so if there's one thing we've learned about coming to Chesington is do not trust the queue times here. We never do that do we? No. We're never no. Right here. <laughs> never right. <laughs> so it's just gone seven and we're just leaving the park now and it is 
been an amazing day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been so yeah. good to get back. Definitely. It's so good to get back. We weren't sure whether to do a theme park first or a zoo first, so we came to Chessington because we've got both. We've got both, and also the new ride as well, the Croc Drop. Yeah. So next week we are at Alton Towers to check out the new retro squad that they're putting, so subscribe to us if you want to see that. You know you need to like the damn video before you click off. Don't go clicking anywhere. Um, until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time we do stuff. Oh, 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 oh,